Welcome to Microsoft Word Tips and Tricks with Anisha Derora. Today we're going to talk about how to customize your quick access toolbar. This is a great tool because what it allows you to do is decide what commands you use most often and puts them in a single location so you don't have to dig through the ribbon for it. There are two ways to go about doing this. I'm going to briefly show you one and then talk in more detail about the other. The easiest way to modify your quick access menu is simply to click the three dots at the end of the menu. Go down to more commands if you want to see more than what shows up in the initial pop-up window. And everything I'm going to show you from here on out is able to be done from this location as well as where I'm going to take you. I'm canceling out of this because I want to show you how to get into this another way. That way you have both resources, even though I think this is the easiest. So you can go up to Word and Preferences. In the Word Preferences window, there is a option for Ribbon and Toolbar. This allows you to modify both the ribbon in Word and your Quick Access Toolbar. Click on Quick Access Toolbar and make sure that that is where you're at to make these modifications. Choose commands from makes this incredibly robust. Initially, it defaults to popular commands. And if you scroll this list, you'll find that there are a ton of commands and maybe every command you might want to use on your Quick Access Toolbar. But before we go into that, let's look at your other options. You can also look at commands not on the ribbon, all commands, macros, and then you could go through tab by tab to pick different commands. So if there are tabs that you go to all the time, you can simply click the tab and now all of the options that come up, whether they show up on the ribbon or not, are listed and you can add them to your quick access toolbar. For ease of this demonstration, I'm just going to go back to popular commands. You'll notice that on the left, this is the list of commands that are not in your, in your quick access toolbar. To move things from one to another, you simply find the command you want to add. In this case, I want to find editor and add it. I'm going to click the right facing arrow to indicate I want to move it from one place to the other. I also want a few others. I want to be able to open a new file here. I want to open existing files. I'd like to print. I want repeat. I want undo. And let's see if there's anything else in here that I'd like. One of the things that I do a lot is add hyperlinks, so I'm also going to add that. If, for some reason, you add something you didn't want, say you added repeat on accident, you could simply click it and then click the left arrow button and it would move back. But I'm going to put it back since I want it. Now, I don't like the order this is in. It doesn't make sense to me. I will always keep autosave before home because if you look up here, it's a much bigger button. It's not just a little icon. So I usually leave that to the left of home. But I want open after home and I want new file after open. I want undo, repeat, 
editor, add hyperlink, then save, then print. And that's the order I want them in. You can also use this plus and minus to add from this list. So if I click quick print, I can add using this button as well. I don't want it, so I can click the minus rather than using the left-right buttons. I use the left-right arrows just as a point of preference. And then click Save. Close the window, and now you have all of your options in your Quick Access Toolbar. I hope you found this helpful. Don't miss a single opportunity to simplify your life in the office. Like and subscribe today.